The proposed protection from internet falsehoods, manipulations and other related matters bill 2019, otherwise known as the Social Media Bill, has received strong condemnation from stakeholders during a public hearing in Abuja. Several persons and groups expressed worry over the impact the bill will have on free speech, media houses, journalists and other online users if passed by the Senate. They urge lawmakers to discard the bill in the interest of democracy and free speech. I agree that matters of freedom of speech and inalienable rights of man are issues which not compromise. I also agree that the right of an individual ends where the rights of another individual begins. The rub between the freedom of an individual and the limits of that individual is often a tight one to walk. As a people, however, we cannot stop discussing this freedom and its limitations for peace and harmony, growth and development. This public hearing underscores the importance attached to the process. On this note, it should be reiterated once more that as a deliberate and responsive Senate, we always pay attention to the fact that our efforts, our reports, are people-oriented and reflect the yearnings and aspirations of the citizenry in line with the present, with the best traditions of the National Assembly. It is pertinent to state here that one of the high points of this bill, in our view, is the myriad of reactions that trailed it from a cross-section of members of the public, both in the social media and other traditional media. We should be talking about how to fix our constitution through a referendum. Because if we have a constitution that is made for the people and by the people, there is no way, like the South Africans have after apartheid, that we'll have a bill like this standing at the people's building here in Abuja. It will never have been considered. And it will mean that some of the people who have this kind of outdated ideas will never have made it to even our Senate. That is the truth. The final thing I want to say is that this bill is dead. Yeah. And now Victoria Ibezim Ohari, a participant at the public hearing held yesterday, join us in the studio. Good afternoon, Victoria. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Can you give us an update on what transpired at the public hearing on the social media bill? Yes, thank you so much. Yesterday, the room was filled to the brim, and there were a lot more people even outside wanting to come in. Nigerians from all walks of life, civil society organizations, and um, bloggers, media organizations, broadcasters, government agencies, the Nigerian army, a host of citizens from across sectors stumped the venue of the public hearing to make their contribution to the uh, bill, the bill called the Inter Protection for Internet Forces, Manipulation, and Other Related Matters Bill, popularly known as Social Media Bill. In one accord, except the Nigerian Army, all groups, including different government departments, whether it's the ITPC, whether it's the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, whether it is the um, Nigerian Communications Communication, the International Press Center, the Nigerian Union of Journalists, the NGOs, numerous local and international organizations, all of them unanimously opposed the bill and urged the Senate to trash that bill. Now, what, what would you say were the reactions of the stakeholders as regard the bill during the public hearing? I said there were quite a number of people from the government and from the private sector. There were lots of representatives of different government departments like the ICPC, the Nigerian Communications Commission, the Nigerian Broadcasting Corp Co Co Corporation, the Nigerian Army, the Office of the Attorney General, quite a host of them, then including media organizations such as the Nigerian Union of Jolali, um, the International Press Center, AIT communications and all of that. All right, now that the most critical stakeholders are opposed to this bill, what do you expect oh. from the federal government? Well, usually the public hearing is a very important process of lawmaking. It is an opportunity to invite comments, inputs, and objections sometimes from the public. 
And yesterday, Nigerians from across sectors have set their minds and made input in that bill. We, have, we are confident that the Senate committee, considering the bill, will hack into the voices of Nigerian citizens. All right, CEO Spaces for Change, Victoria, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you for having me.